Okay, before we start, let's have a prayer. Okay, let's pray. Thank you, Lord, for this wonderful day and for life and many blessings. I believe in your goodness with all my heart. Holy Spirit of God, please guide our group for our presentation today. This is all I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. The title of our study is Experimental Study on the Development of Concrete Block Using Raw Rice Husk. The researchers are the following. Romeo A. Valientos, Sandro Nunez, Gistoni Gabrunino, Zadel Mero, Jason Elan, and Jisa Amparo. So now I will show to you the gun chart or the working schedule. So in planning and formulating, it was scheduled on September to November 2021. Then the second one is the preparation of thesis proposal, December 21, 2021 to January 2022. Then the presentation of the thesis proposal, it was scheduled on February 2022 and this present. Then the presentation and submission of the thesis to ethics com committee, it, it was, it is scheduled March 2022. Then the data collection, March to April 2022. Data analysis, it is scheduled April 2022. And then the last one, the submission of thesis which is scheduled May 2022. That, and that's all for the gun charge. The background of the study. Ecological waste has been rampant in our society, and many have been distracted by the ecological waste such as rice rice house, and many more. Use of eco-materials from agricultural products is an increasingly adaptive solution in the field of construction. Indeed, like any other field, transport, aeronautics, etc., the construction sector must deal with the issue of greenhouse gas emissions, as well as the scarcity of raw materials, recycling issues, and sustainable development. The generation of different industrial and agricultural waste has increased rapidly in the past few decades. Approximately 9 to 2 billion tons of industrial and agricultural waste are produced annually worldwide. In the Philippines, almost 2 billion rice hull waste have been produced annually according to BUSP 2000. Through researching articles about the rice hull breaks, the researcher finds out that there are only few studies that uses raw rice hulls as an alternative mixture of the cement in making bricks or blocks. Most studies about rice hull in the masonry or construction areas uses are ash of the rice hull, which is mixed with the cement. Through that, the researcher wants to study and develop a blood or bricks that uses raw rice hull with the right amount of mixture cement that can be used in construction projects such as canals, dikes, and even temporary house walls. The statement of the problems. This study aims to prepare and evaluate the rice husk as a replacement for sand as a part of construction materials, specifically the concrete block. This study aims to determine the rice husk of block bricks in terms of tensile strength, durability, resistance of fire and water. Evaluate the right ratio of the mixture of cement and rice husk. Produce durable and eco-friendly rice husk block or bricks. Okay, 
this is the hypothesis. In our hypothesis zero, there is significant difference between the variation of the mixture of cement and rice hull bricks in terms of there are three. So first is the thin cell strength, second is the durability, and the last one is the resistance in water and fire. So in our hypothesis one, there is significant difference between the variation of the mixture of cement and rice hull bricks in terms of same with the hypothesis zero, there are three. The thin cell strength, durability, and the re resistance in water and fire. So that's all for our hypothesis. The methodology. The study will be an experimental research design. The researcher will use the CRD or the completely randomized design for the experiment of the study. The investigation was carried out and determined the strength and characteristic due to the influence of raw rice husk or rice hull in, in the brick masonry. The preliminary, preliminary in the preliminary investigation includes finding out the right aspect or ratio of the mixture of rice husk and rice hull with the cement. The concrete blocks structural design. The researcher will use the fully solid concrete block design. This design can be used in protecting in some projects like protecting walls to strong winds and other and other construction projects such as canals and dikes. To measure the strength and durability of the of the concrete block, the researcher will use the following test. Cyclical stress test such as shock from falling from heights. The second is the torsion testing. The in this method the researcher will use the submersion submersive strength test. The second is the water absorption test. The third is the fire resistance test. Based on the table shown, the treatment will be rated on the following. ND, no damage. No physical damage. LD, light damage. Slightly damage such as bent, observe. MD, moderate. Slight physical damage and color change. Is the severe damage. Severe damage was observed during the shock stress. Torsion testing. This is a stability test by submersive test method. In this method, the standing water of blood, the blocks or bricks will be soaked and weakens its strength. The stability test will determine the time and which the specimen weakens its strength in the standing water. This method was formerly approached to determine the stability of stabilized specimen in the static water. To determine the stability, the treatments will be submerged fully in water with different time. After submersion, each treatment or specimen will be assessed using shock stress, specifically falling from heights. Based on the assessment, the treatment will be rated on the following. In the no damage, no physical damage. LD, light damage, slight damage such as dense observed. MD, moderate, slight physical damage and color change. SD, severe damage. Severe damage was observed during. Water absorption method. The purpose of examining the water absorption is to determine the capacity of a specimen in resisting the water penetration and calculate the volume of each specimen. After the submersion in the water, to determine the resistance of water, weighing scales were used to measure the weight of each specimen before and after the submersion. To determine the value of water absorption, the researcher will use the formula of water absorption was A minus B divided B times 100% where A is weight before the submersion and B is the weight after submersion. 
okay, resistance testing and fire. To determine the resistance of the material to the fire, the experiment will use a timer to determine the time consumed during burning period. The data will be gathered using table 5.